All right, guys, let's get into this box. It's a cutie patootie. Um, this was a box designed for my Day at the Park album. I like it because it has a lined inside. I think all boxes should be have a lined inside. It just gives your box a little, a little luxury. You know, it's a little more luxurious when you line it. And don't let me have some velvet paper because I'm good for putting a velvet lining inside a box. So I'm starting off with this 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Why 12 by 12? Only because I had it. It's printed on super duper heavy 100 pound cardstock. And the base, I'm doing a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that is on, that's cardstock, it's not paper. It's, it's heavy duty cardstock. If you don't have that, stack up paper and glue it on the inside. I'll show you that. I'm cutting this down to nine and three quarters by eight that's the top the top is going to be a little larger than the bottom so i'm cutting it again at nine and three quarters by eight and i'm using heavyweight cardstock for this and that's just paper that i printed from etsy on some um, 100 pound cardstock now this this size box can be made with eight and a half by 11 sheets and the bottom, I'm cutting at one quarter less. So it's going to be at nine and a half by seven and three quarters. You cut it just, just a quarter inch shorter. And that's going to work for all of your box, all of the boxes that you need. Take your item, measure two inches larger than your album on all sides. And then that's your top. And then subtract a quarter from each side. And that's your bottom. So that'll give, that's the recipe for all of these easier boxes um, they're quick they're easy not a big deal and so that's this is your box right there now I have some other decorative papers that I added to it but you know if you're in a pinch and you're trying to, to move super quick and I should say that's the recipe for a box with a one inch um, space in it so I'm using a scoreboard here and I am scoring at the one inch line. Don't worry about trying to do the math from each side. Just take it, your ruler or, or scoreboard, and do an inch from the, from the left-hand side. And a score is just making an indentation on your paper so that your paper folds more easily. So see, all I didn't go all the way through the paper. I'm not cutting the paper. I'm just putting a dent in the paper so it folds easier. So where that little square is that I'm holding in my right hand... We're going to make some cuts on that really easy to do. You're going to cut straight on that line all the way up to the other line. So bam, cut it. Then I'm going to angle my scissors to the left just a little bit. And the object of this game is to cut that little triangle out, bam, so that it falls out. That's the, that's the object so that you're not pulling on it. I do it sometimes, but the object is to cut straight on that line up into the other line and then turn your scissors now to the right just a little bit. So at first you turn them to the left, turn them to the right. You're only cutting on that tab, not the big tab. You're cutting on the little tab. So you cut the little tab first. Then you take your scissors and you angle them to the left just a little bit and cut. Nice. See, look, it didn't fall out. I got to give it a little a touch here. And then over here, you're going to cut straight. And this is on the, the long side, not the short side. I'm sorry, this is on the short side. So the eight, so this is an eight and a half by 11. It started off as an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. You're cutting on the short side. So you can see it as it's laying down there. So there we go. Technically, it'll work if you cut it on the other side, too, um, if I'm being honest, but cut on the short side. And you're just cutting out those little notches. And now we have boxes. You guys know these Christmas boxes that you fold every year. You don't necessarily have to buy them from Costco. You can make your own, depending upon the size of whatever item you're trying to box. Now, to properly fold on a score line, there's a dented side and then there's the bumpy side. You want to fold your paper toward the bumpy side so the the um you're going towards the bump it helps so that your paper doesn't crack 
Now I'm just putting a little glue on the tabs. I do two tabs at a time. This glue dries super duper fast, so be ready. When you push it, you only have just a little bit of wiggle room, depending upon how big the layer is that you put on there, but just a little bit of wiggle room. And I just pinch it and bam, I'm done. Little glue, little glue, and then pinch it. And it's just that simple. Now this is the bottom. For the bottom, I just use a plain uh, white piece of cardstock. And you could go all out and put a liner on the outside and decorate it on the outside too. I didn't. This paper is super difficult to fold and I didn't wanna use my bone folder cause I'm trying to show everybody that you can do these boxes with some scissors and a ruler if necessary. So um, I just fought with it a little bit. Just gave it a little encouragement and it came out fine. So again, we're just putting the glue on these little tabbies and we hold it and pinch it for a second and it holds. Nice and easy. And we'll do the same thing on this side. And we're pinching and we're holding. And we're just kind of encouraging it to be square, as square as possible. And that's the box, just like that. And I made a sticker out of cardstock and vinyl that says totally 80s. Cut that out with my Cricut and bam, that's my box, sort of. We still have to do the liners on the inside, but if you want to check out right here, I totally get it because that is the box in essence. And then the rest is just decoration. So here I am cutting the liners for this box. I like to cut them. Just this one here looks like it's about five and three quarters by seven and a half. So I cut them pretty big because I kind of don't want any white border. I mean, you're going to have a little bit of a white border, but this one here looks like I'm cutting it at five and a half by seven and a quarter. Just figure out kind of what you want your look to be. There's no rhyme or reason. Just cut some sheets of paper that fit down in the box. And I think I'm working on the top right here. And I like double-sided paper because you know that it's going to coordinate with itself. Or those paper packs, they usually coordinate with themselves. This is a Minnie's Boutique paper stack that fooled me. I thought it was going to look just like Minnie's Boutique on Disney, and it doesn't at all. <laughs> it's got some bows. It's got Minnie Mouse on there, but it does not look like the cover. It fooled me. So I'm just using the other side of the paper. And I cut those strips down, I don't know, to like seven and something and five and something. Blah, blah, blah. Just cut them down so they fit on the inside. Here, I'm using some glue to glue down some really inexpensive ribbon that you can get from a big box store's Michaels or Joann's. And I'm gluing that ribbon down so that I can lift out that box easily. So I'm working on the bottom right now. And we're just putting in a liner right over it, which gives that um, ribbon some more security. And then I'm measuring across the box. And I'm taking a lighter and just burning the ends a little bit so that it doesn't fray. And now you can put your box right in. I mean, your album right in. When I put the liner on the left-hand side, I went ahead and made sure that I put it over the ribbon. Just gives it a little more security. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will see you next time. Check out the album video, too, that came before this video.